This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Then cross out your eyes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Rise and Shine. Segment we could say, you know, we created, you know, we got get in the game. That's for artists who are trying to break into the game. Mm -hmm. And Rise and Shine is for artists that are already in the game and creating a lot of momentum. Right. And with that said, man, we got this young man who's been putting it down for years now, finally getting his recognition. A um, lot of people first ironically discovered him from a double XL freshman cover back in 2014. Yeah. And we were looking at the cover and we were like, yo, man, why, why do I know this dude from Jaron Benton? Jaron Benton. And, and how did he get on the cover? <laughs> and he got on the cover the best way an artist could get on the cover. And we're going to explain that momentarily. Welcome to the show, Mr. Jaron Benton. Ladies man, and thank y'all, man. Thank hey, you. Hey, I'm, I'm a fan of the show. Oh, I, really? Yeah. I, I, hey, when I'm at the crib, I'm, I'm listening to fucking Swear in the Morning, man. Yeah. yeah. So you are officially a citizen. A I'm a citizen, man. What it, what it like, what's it like to just sit next to somebody who was just featured on Oprah Winfrey's network? Mm. Uh, oh, Heather B. Talk about it. I missed that, but I, I saw I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Yo, me about I saw it. That. Let me hear it. I, I saw I saw. Didn't you like put out a, a tweet or yeah, Instagram? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. that yeah. 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 yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, you sit next to the woman. Sway looked out for me. Put it all up there. We feature Sway in the morning show on there. That's ill. That's crazy. Right? Y'all deserve it, man. Like, thank you. Oh, we work Let hard. me just say this, man. Let me fan out real quick. Okay, go, go for it. That man, go ahead. I learned most of my MC crafts from them goddamn Sway and, and King Tech mixtape show. Oh, wow. wow. Heather B. Yo. Wake up show. Big fucking fan. Thank you. Come on. All right. Tracy G. Hi. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. She working on a legendary no. status. Is it okay? Yo, we gonna add Sway, one to Sway what's told up? Yeah, he I love said 12 you too, more Tracy. years. He told her 12 more years. She got put in 12 more years. This is day three. That was good, Doc. Come on. It was set up correctly. We're gonna add more words to that sentence. My was... man behind the boards. <laughs> DJ, DJ Wonder, Wonder man. DJ motherfucking Wonder. Is, what's up, man. dog? I'm feeling he okay, got dog man, man. Hey, man, it's good. Of you. Let me tell you about dedication, man. It's a blizzard out here. And Jaron Benton, man, made it to the show. I know. And not only did he make it to the show, he made it on time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, Early. He's you a know. rapper. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, the Double XL freshman cover, you know, the cover, that, uh, cover is something that a lot of artists would dream about becoming a part of. Uh, they usually select the artists, you know, themselves. But you got on in an interesting way, right? How did you get on the cover? The fans voted me on that, man. That was that was love. And it was crazy. I didn't even expect it. Yeah. Let me say this, man. Funk volume fans go so fucking hard for mm -hmm. us, bro. Yeah. Salute to everybody that support us, man. Thank y'all. Funk volume, that's the label you signed to, Hobson's label, right? That's the label. Hobson, Swizz, Dizzy mm -hmm. Wright. And myself. Yo, so what's up with Opson? Did he retire? He over? That nigga ain't retired. Because he's on no. the... Yeah, nah. He's nah. Not. He said he left the country. Nah, that nigga flexing. So he, he <laughs> never no. retired? He ain't retired. It was bo you know, it was a gag to set up a uh, promo for his new album, Pound Syndrome. Huh? Okay. Yeah, oh, that nigga ain't going nowhere, Wait, what? man. They can't get a visa. Where you going? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga ain't going nowhere. Now, I mean, he's on um, Killing My Soul, too, with you, right? Killing My Soul, yeah, yes, that's, sir. That's, Him and John Connor. Yeah, they're both on the uh, track. Let me say this, though, before. Killing My Soul is one of the illest tracks produced by the homie M16. Yeah. The video is coming out this week. But I had to switch it up. John Connor is on the album, killed it. Yeah. But the video got the homie Locksmith on it. Locksmith killed it. from the Bay Area. Mm. You know, we've been pounding on. Well, let me rephrase that. Uh, we've yeah, been uh, yeah. we've been banging. No, uh, that's not it. Yeah, All right, yeah. we've been rocking, uh, we've been rocking with, with. Okay, we've been rocking with Locksmiths. <laughs> you know, for you know over a decade now. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, he's smuggled Locksmith it, huh? the beast, man. Him and John Connor, they both killed it. Like. Wait till y'all hear it. They uh, killed me. Well, let's play it now, and I want to talk about Slow Motion, um, the EP, and everything that's been going on in your life, all right? Let's do it, man. All right, Jaron Benton is here, 888-742-3345. This is Killing My Soul. Killing My Soul. A lot of bars on that song. You hear them bars Atlanta have to be? Man, listen. Jaron Benton. And, and that's coming from Atlanta, too. You know, it's interesting. Jaron Benton is from Atlanta. Right. And, um... And you, 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 you down with Hobson and, you know, uh, Sire the kid, that's my homie. Mm. Sire, hey, si hey, people don't know, man, Sire is a beast. Yeah, yeah, I was with him. I was in Atlanta this weekend. I had him come by our, oh, our well, one shout shot. Shout out to Sire, man. Yeah, him, Rory came by as well. Yeah. Um, Scotty ATL, these are. Hey, Scotty ATL, hey, Scotty ATL, another beast, man. Yeah. Shout out to Scotty. Yeah, these are guys from Atlanta that um, uh, that i really been following. And, and, and along with yourself, you guys are different. And uh, and I and I explained to you why. It's, it's, you know, I was looking, listening to the song "Diamonds and Fur," 
and I went and pulled up the lyrics, and it was something you said in the in, in these lyrics that stood out to me. All right. And uh, let me see if I could find it. I don't get it. What exactly don't you get? Breaking down the lyrics you may not understand. What the hell did you just say? It's the Lyrical Breakdown. I can break it down like whatever you want. On Sway in the Morning. All right, 21 minutes into the hour. Jaron Benton is here. It's time to do Lyrical Breakdown, Heather B. Yeah, down. I love this part. Yeah, Me too. Yeah, yeah. I go through a lot of songs, and then I find something that stick out. I, you know, I don't even plan what it is. You ever watch Charmed? Yeah. You know, when Prue and them, <laughs> and they take that little that little uh, Cold you, pendulum thing, oh, and, yeah. they, and then they find out where the, you know, where the, the, the demon is or whoever they're trying to find. <laughs> I, that's how the lyrics hit me, Heather B. Wonderful you know, analogy. You know, wow, you know, you, you, I tried to paint the picture right there. That was a great analogy, All right. man. I wish I, I wish I had watched Charm. Yeah, you, well, you know, <laughs> it's not too late. Reruns, it's in syndication. I'll be check it out. All right, uh, so we're going to talk about diamonds and fur. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, and well, correct me if the lyrics are, are incorrect. Okay. Uh, God bless the dead, a war with demons inside my head. Yes, sir. Uh, now there's empty space here inside my bed that you missing. That you're missing from. I wasn't piling bread. I wasn't piling bread. What yeah. does that mean? That's actually uh, that that what that mean is uh, when I was chasing, trying to get into music, man. Um, just the thoughts that go in your head if you go make it, if you not go make it, and most of the most of the thoughts was always uh, doubting myself. Yeah, just doubting myself. So it's just that's what I said. I wore with demons inside my head. Wore with the self doubt, and with that self doubt, and everybody know when you re- when you in a relationship and you doing music. And you don't have all your shit together outside of music and you're with a significant other. They might not fully believe in you. So they're not going to gamble on, you know, their life and they shit because you ain't got your shit together. So they dipping. Mm-hmm. So that's where there's an empty space inside my bed that you're missing from. That 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 goes back to my to my wifey when she when she left because uh-huh. I ain't had my shit together. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. So she's gone. Uh-huh. And I wouldn't pile in bread. They had no money. Yeah. I was fucked up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so she left you. She left me. Yeah. yeah. And she didn't. Did she ever come back? She came back. Man. Okay. Come on, man. Okay. Okay. Oh, you took her back. Okay. She gonna come back. Come back. Yeah. You took her back. I'm glad okay. you thought no. you saw that as a legit reason. I didn't know because some people would be like, "You're supposed to be a ride or die." Oh no, 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 no. Fuck that. I, I completely see that. Like I understand. Plus, we had, we had, we got two kids together. So yeah. when you ain't holding it down, man, and you know, uh, they don't understand. I understand. She in a situation where she don't understand. What you going through is just, you know, chasing yeah. your dream. So yeah. I can I completely understand she's not in a position, but I understand she gotta do what she gotta do. Like if you ain't holding it down, like I wouldn't want my daughter to do that, like go through the misery of just being with somebody and you know, they ain't got their shit together. Okay, and you didn't have it together. All right, Jaren Jer- Jer- Benton is here. We breaking out diamonds and fur. Okay, so okay, and I was scared of this rap shit, so every day I would practice and our relationship with them fall apart. Now it's over. Now, uh, now sings that fat bitch. Yes. Uh, okay, we know what that. That was about that. <laughs> there you go. And you was thinking about marriage. I was thinking about me, and my shit was so far from being together. I was out here blind mm-hmm. on these streets. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Now, what were mm-hmm. you doing in the streets? Were you? Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily. I wouldn't do. I wouldn't even move in really uh, in a legal manner. When I mean, I was out here blind on these streets, in the streets chasing my dream. Like I didn't realize. Like yo. You can chase your dream, but take care of your fucking responsibilities, man. Right. Yeah. So I was blind. I didn't. I had no fucking idea. I, you know, I ain't have a father figure around. I ain't know how to be a dad. Uh-huh. So that's what that meant. I was out here blind on these streets. Jaron Benton is here. You know, it's interesting because I always tell people use their pursuit of I'm going to be a rapper or be an artist for an excuse. excuse to not do shit else. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm broke. Well, I'm trying to pursue my dream. Yeah. Get a job. Right. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm trying to be a rapper. You can have a job and be a rapper. Hey, yeah. let me say this. I'm the first dude to let you know you could fucking have a job and be a rapper, man. You ain't got to struggle. You ain't got <laughs> you yeah. ain't gotta yeah. be All fucking right. living penny to penny. Okay, so. Um, Very true. Sure. Trying to beast to rhyme over beats, and these pussy niggas are so weak, and my city felt so lame then, yes. and I was stressed not getting much sleep. Yes. Now, that's the part of the song that I went, ooh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, let's break that down, because uh, we were talking about Scotty ATL, yes. talking about Rory, uh, Sayari the Kid, yes. yourself. You made a point to say spitters, real spitters. Yeah. Did you feel like what was coming out of Atlanta was weak? Oh, mm. fuck yeah, I did, bro. And it's I, I, I respect the movement. I respect, you know, my city. And I just felt like the city didn't have a balance, man. Mm-hmm. I still feel like that now we don't have a balance. By any means, 
you know, I, I've been drunk and I said I had a couple of reckless interviews, but by any means, I don't want people to think that I don't fuck with the sound of the city. We just need balance. What sound you talking about like the trap? The, 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 trap the sound is, yeah, the, I do trap shit. Like, I got trap shit, but, you know, I just still, is an MC, I come from that era to where, and yeah. what I meant by that line is that. You think people's lyrics are weak? I think people's lyrics are weak. I, okay. I feel like some of the music that people make is just fucking effortless. So I was chasing what happened in Atlanta. You chasing, like, I'm influenced by M, Outkast, and shit like that. So yeah. I'm chasing that. I, I exercise my lyrical ability to get to that. And then when you get to there and you're trying to get in these doors and you like, nigga, you're not weak enough to make it. Like, that's, that's, mm. that's fucking insane. <laughs> you're not, you're weak, not enough. weak enough, nigga, to make it. Get the fuck out of my face. So that's what I meant. Like, my city felt so lame. I'm trying to beat. I'm trying to fucking beast and rhyme over beats. And y'all niggas want me to dance. Like, the fuck out of here, man. So that's that's what it comes from. What about from? the crooning style? Like, you know, like you might hear uh, Young Thug or uh, Rich Homie Quan or Future. You know, I, like I say, I fuck with it because um, it's a feel. It's a feeling. Like, I fuck with the feeling. Like, I dig it. Yeah. Like I said, I just think we don't have a balance, man. I think, and I'm I'm one of those dudes that love my city, man. Yeah. Um, you know, when people when the outside looking in is always Atlanta's bullshit. Atlanta's bullshit. Y'all might run a radio, but y'all niggas are trash. Hmm. That's <laughs> every nigga say that from all around the city, and I'm and I always have wow. to go back to the old school niggas. Like, what about what about Ludacris? What about right. Outkast? Yeah, what yeah, about? Yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah, oh, I'm not saying they old school, but you know, I always have to go back to the OGs. Yeah, but. I can't the the do, the new dudes I can name a few but the city ain't never been behind like I gotta say Childish Gambino he from mm-hmm. Atlanta he's yeah, a spitter he's man Sai yeah, si, si the Prince man oh yeah Sai si the Scotty Prince Scotty ATL yeah. even B O B like this yeah, the, the, but the city spitter. never held those dudes down even even Scotty ATL yeah. my homie Ra Ra Els Jenkins man um Ti a spitter Ti man yeah, Ti yeah. yeah. Ludacris yeah. man yeah. but you know they held him down but I'm smart the, <laughs> the, 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 the new dudes up and coming All man right, like, let me get back to these lyrics I get what you're saying man <laughs> yeah. and then we're gonna play the song but I, I you know so you say I, my mind was thinking so fu- I mean I, I was stressed not getting much sleep my mind was thinking so fucked up I put hip hop before anything a lost king though I was a lost king knew I was finna rain. Yeah. Uh, but for you, it's something I cannot explain. I was fighting so much disbelief in these pills. Yes. Mm. Can bring me much relief. Yes. You was taking pills? Or, yeah. I or are you just saying, what, 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 what did you mean by that? What I meant by it, yeah, I was taking pills, but I wasn't, uh, I necessarily wasn't a pill addict, but you know, you might have a little cocktail, you know, pop a little uh, Zanny here and there. And it's what, much Zanny. I'm sorry. I beg your pardon, Jeremy. <laughs> what is that? It, it's a, it's Zanax. it's it's okay. it's like damn near like a, a a muscle relax in a sense, man. Okay. But what I mean by that is that get your mind off the stress. Mm. That's the only way I could go to sleep. Like I, I could get my mind off the stress by you know drinking and you mm. know. But I wasn't. I wasn't an addict. Dame might yeah, <laughs> might no, no, sound like an addict right now. <laughs> All right, I'm stumbling yeah. stum- <laughs> over that. All right, let me keep going. Uh, <laughs> goddamn addict. Dame <laughs> may mis- may disagree, but I'm. I'm not an addict, man. You're not an addict? Okay. <laughs> That's what they and start I just wanted saying. to be in them flashy lights with them shining chains and that mink. Preach. Preach. Let's play this Diamonds and Fur. We're going to open up the phone lines. Jaron Benton is here. 888-742-3345. Jaron Benton is here. Yes, sir. The new EP. Slow motion. It's in stores now. We got Mike from New Jersey on the line. Big Mike. Big Mike. What Mike. up, Mike? Mike. Big Mike. What's up, homie? Oh, hey. What, hey. Oh, my God. This is amazing. Um, <laughs> First of all, Jaren, I love you. It's the way, you know, Thank great you. interviews. Thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, I listened to the EP, and I thought it was amazing. You know, but why didn't you make a full-length LP instead of an EP? I was going to what's crazy. Slow motion was I was going into a diff I was I was going to start with a dip I was in a different direction when I created it. I was it was gonna sound real soulful, so, sort of like a Jay Z blueprint. Ooh. But with them samples, mm-hmm. man, this shit get expensive. <laughs> yeah. So I had to go back to the drawing board and um, you know, use original material. So I got with some of the producers I knew and we came up with just all original material. I wanted to break it up, man. Um and the reason I call it uh, EP Slow Motion is dedicated to my homeboy Slow Motion who passed away a little uh, a little over a year ago, man. Uh, Jamal Pryor, that was like my homie. He was my manager, uh, damn near best friend, brother. So when he passed away, it was just, I don't know, it was hard to get back in the creating process. I was on the road uh, for, I was on the road a minute, man. Mm-hmm. Um, you did Tech 9. You did yeah, about 70 yeah. dates with 78 Tech 9. 78 dates yeah. with Tech, man. Yeah. Tech wow. and Freddie Gibbs and a, a group called Psych War Druggies. Mm-hmm. Before that, me, Ritz, Snow the Product was on. Yeah. I think we did like 30-some dates. But um, I just wanted to create a project, man, and put my homie's name on it so, you know, his name could live on, man. Slow motion. So that's why how, it's titled how, that. How did he pass? You know what's crazy, bro? And this is black community, man. 
get your checkups, man. Mm. Don't be afraid to go to the doctor. He had diabetes, and he didn't even fucking know it. Wow. wow. Yeah. How old was he? Uh, Slow was 35 when he passed. Damn. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 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 Sad, man. Yeah. 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 Go get checked up, damn it. I'm leaving yeah. right yeah. after this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we get off yeah. for real, man. Shit, well, we I'm, had I'm no over 35. No so. fucking <laughs> idea, bro. Like, I saw him. We did a video shoot, laughing, joking. He was a, he was always joke. He was a jokester, man. Like we used to fucking talk about each other, go in on each other, and then the homie didn't wake up. Like, wow. Yeah, it's like ill. Like damn. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Tracy, ask right, something. Change the, change the topic. Change the topic. I got you. Good. Good luck. So, Jared, I had saw um, an interview you did, and you said something about how the essence of a good show is not giving a fuck, right? Yes. So it's focusing on that not giving a fuck part, and it made me think about Danny Brown, who's gotten oh, head yeah. while on stage. Shout out to Danny Brown. Wonder man. DB said some story about a girl getting eaten out on stage. Oh man. So I wanted to know, like, what's been the most memorable time on stage where you really did not give a fuck? Now I don't go as far as Danny Brown. I ain't getting head on stage. <laughs> and everybody eating each other Missing out. out yo. It's just the energy of the music where you just just hmm. you just lose yourself in the music. You lose yourself in the performance where you stage diving. You out there. You don't give a fuck. You sweaty. You giving it more than a hundred percent. And and that that's what I mean by not giving a fuck. Not holding back. Like yo, let's go crazy, man. We had a show. Like what the fuck? Let's go crazy. What the fuck mm-hmm. we here for? But if a girl did crawl on stage and was looking at your zipper and was like, "Want to blow me?" On, I couldn't do it. No, I couldn't do it. On if a, if a chick want to come on stage and blow me on stage, like, like your single wifey's gone. I, don't, I can't do it. Still got kids. I don't you know. Got a daughter? Yeah, yeah, I got a daughter. Oh no, nah, you can't do it. Listen, yeah. listen I, if, not even that. Like, if, I don't know what type of chick she is. Like, she gonna come on stage and blow me. Like, you probably how many get, other niggas you just blew? Yeah, <laughs> you, know what I'm you probably get warts on your slong. Yeah, after that. you go. Okay. Yeah, I, I might work. They, they call those stage warts. <laughs> might have stage warts. <laughs> but if I would, if I if I were in a relationship and uh, you know, she wanted to blow me, maybe you know, backstage, backstage, you know. <laughs> You, you've had that happen, Jerry? Maybe, maybe that'll happen, yeah. You've had backstage BJ? Nah, nah, I ain't had no backstage BJs, right. man. Right, you. J- Justin no. is on the line in uh, Canada. <laughs> Justin, what up, man? How you doing? What up, Justin? Hey, Clay, how's it going? What up, Pop, uh, Pop family? <laughs> I, I, I was got caught in between with popping. <laughs> I got caught in between with popping. Champagne popping. Hey, what up? You know, but oh, what's your question for Jaron Benton? <laughs> Actually, uh, I, I just got more of a statement. I want to say uh, thank him for taking his time to come on and uh, and uh, share his story. Him and I have some similarities in life with chasing dreams and kids and wives leaving and whatnot. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, really interested me in your story and your music, man, is dope. Thank you, homie. Hey, man, keep... Hey, hold it. <laughs> Make sure you get a job, bro. No, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's, imp- That's important. Uh, you know, and the, and the music is in stores today. Yeah. Uh, the EP is slow motion. Yeah, you can get it right now on iTunes. PJ, North Carolina. PJ! What up, PJ? Move, what up, family? I'm chilling, bro. Getting it up. All right. Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah, I know. Whoa. Oh, what the hell, hell you doing, man? It's because of Jaren's voice? <laughs> oh, no, no. Bobby. <laughs> oh, okay. Go ahead. Okay, there you go. What's your question, fam? I'm playing already this morning. What? Oh, my man. My <laughs> man. Right. Okay, so what's your question for Jaren Benton? I ain't really have a question for him, but I would, I would like to tell him, you know, I appreciate his attitude to the towards life and the game. Yeah. It's real, you know. It ain't no need to be pussyfooting around and acting like what ain't what ain't. Thank it you, is homie. what it is. He, it sounds like he's telling it what it really is, and you can't do nothing but get what you got for you when you do that. Thank you, homie. Appreciate right. that, man. Hey, P- PJ, go to iTunes, man. Download his new EP. It's called Slow Motion. It's Slow e- Motion. It's in stores today, man. Wonder, can we- it's Sway in the Morning. Only on Shade 45.